Breaking at 11-4, dead after a chase and shootout in the middle of rush hour traffic in South Florida. The suspects accused of hijacking a UPS truck. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The FBI says it started in Coral Gables when the suspects tried to rob a jewelry store. The high-speed pursuit ending in Broward County. News 6's Troy Campbell joins us in studio with the late breaking details in this case. Troy. Well, just tonight, the FBI did confirm that the UPS driver is one of the victims as well as an innocent bystander. Now, this dramatic pursuit, it all unfolded during the busy evening commute. A massive law enforcement presence spanning across Miramar Parkway in Broward County. FBI Special Agent in Charge George Pirro saying two men robbed a jewelry store in Coral Gables at about 4.15 this afternoon. Moments later, the suspects were seen carjacking a UPS driver, kidnapping the employee. As the individuals were fleeing, uh, shots were fired uh, and was uh, reported across the street at the City Hall in Coral Gables. The FBI says within moments, police spotted the stolen UPS vehicle and a high-speed pursuit ensued. The truck seen swerving through rush hour traffic in South Florida, nearly hitting several vehicles and even changing directions before coming to a dead stop at a red light cornered in traffic. The armed suspects engaged law enforcement, opened fire. There was exchange fire between law enforcement and the suspects. The FBI says a total of four people were killed, including the two suspects, UPS driver, and an innocent bystander. Both federal, state, and local law enforcement now spending the night searching for evidence after the nearly 25-mile-long pursuit between two counties. There are a lot of questions that are still uh, unanswered, and we will be working throughout the night as we not only process the crime scenes, but also try to identify all of the uh, uh, evidence and facts associated with this robbery. And as of now, law enforcement has not released details on whether police gunfire killed either of those two innocent victims. The FBI also has not identified anyone involved in the shooting. Live in the studio tonight, Troy Campbell getting results. News 6. Troy, thank you. News 6 will continue to update you on this developing story throughout the night on ClickOrlando.com and on the morning news starting at 5.